So what excites me about the digital video space is um, it's probably not so much the, the cliches of how the technology is you know, allowing for all these innovative things to happen. I think it's really about the creativity that we're seeing blossom in digital video and digital being uh, a vehicle for allowing creativity. Um, we're seeing, I think, a renaissance in, in creative content now. I think uh, rather than talking about the heyday of television and water cooler moments on TV, uh, everyone I talk to is talking about the last thing that they streamed, the last piece of content they, they consumed and how compelling it was. And so the, the quality of the content is, is extraordinary. And for, for me and for us at Between Reach, that, that really represents an opportunity to, to tell stories in an amazing way, to reach people in, in new ways, and to, um, to really, uh, really bring back the, the creativity that the video medium offers. So the most important issues facing us in the digital video landscape, uh, there are many, many issues. Um, hear about fraud and we hear about privacy issues and we hear about ad blocking and the list goes on and on reaching fragmented office audiences um, you know the, the list is so long I think it can get, get overwhelming and so uh, what we try to focus on and what I think we should be as an industry focusing on are some of the things that we can solve right now um, and I get, go back to the creativity aspect. Let's leverage the creative tools that we have. Let's, let's make sure that we have a supply chain that's efficient and, and trusted so that we can move content, move people. That's the purpose of video advertising after all is to move people and video is the most compelling medium. Uh, but what we see is some of the big challenges are just simple execution issues. Uh, the inability to launch a campaign on time. I mean, it's hard to talk about all of these you know, incredibly challenging broad issues when we're still launching campaigns late. So I think what we should be focusing on are some fundamentals right now, looking at how creative, how media, how these things come together to tell stories, to, to reach people again, and let's worry about getting those done effectively and efficiently, um, and, and again, a, a trusted and efficient supply chain. Connected TV is, I believe, just the new manifestation of what we talked about a few years ago of convergence. Um, connected TV is really just the, the television that happens to have connectivity to the internet. And so it's really just another screen. I think um, you know, we have a tendency to sort of jump on one topic or one buzzword, um, but what we see is, again, video is the medium. Whether it's a connected television, a mobile device, a linear television, um, it doesn't matter we need to be able to execute efficiently against that. Now we've seen a dramatic increase um, going from you know, up to 44% of all uh, impressions served, um, almost a 200% increase in just one year on, on CTV. So there's clearly a transition happening uh, to uh, more audience being reached through that means, but it's really just television. And so again, when it comes to execution, we should be looking at the quality of the content. People, when it comes to connected TV, uh, people are thinking of it as just a television. The, the person on the other end of the screen isn't distinguishing the technology, whether it's over the top, or they, they don't care about that. What they care about is are they having an experience that is good, and um, are they pleased with, with what they're seeing in terms of the content and the advertising that supports that content. So what role will ad serving play in the future of linear? Well, um, again, I would see that linear, digital are, are coming together. We've, we've talked about this for many years, but it's actually here. It's not in the future. Uh, so ad serving um, came, out, came about in the world of digital display advertising. And during that time, since coming from the, those roots, it became very conflated. Uh, what is an ad server? Is it is it serving media? Is it identifying media audience? Is it serving creative? Is it measurement? It sort of became all of these things together. And what we're seeing as as advertising and especially digital video advertising reaches greater scale, there's a need to optimize each element of the supply chain. And so, with uh, the advent of server side ad insertion and, and over the top and all these different types of delivery mechanisms. 
the ad server ultimately is the creative delivery system. And so uh, we see it as being optimized around management of the creative, really moving toward more of a centralized authoritative source for creative, um, properly identified using universal ad identifiers, getting away from the, the bespoke ad hoc uh, management of creative and how that connects and how that uh, marries up to the ad opportunity that is presented through media, whether it's programmatic, direct, ultimately there's an opportunity for an impression, a media opportunity, and it's the job of what we used to call the ad server to deliver that creative. And we see that being more, more mor morphed into um, the uh, notion of, a, of an ad cloud central repository for creative that is able to connect to and deliver that content to any screen. We really focus, again, on the fundamentals. Uh, it's easy to get distracted and to get overwhelmed by all of the different issues, whether it's fraud or you, know, you name it, or privacy. Um, again, what we counsel our clients to do is focus on the fundamentals, focus on telling a great story, focus on execution, because in, in all aspects of business, execution is really what, what ultimately delivers results. And so making sure that you're working with good partners, that you are um, working with trusted media suppliers, um, you, you get what you pay for in media, and um, focus on delivering a great creative message. Video has always been the best medium for creativity. Um, and we just had the Super Bowl where, where we handled 80% of, of all of that content and we see some amazing stories. It becomes the, uh, the, the stuff of social discussion. Uh, that's what advertising should be about. Um, people don't remember the last pop-up banner they saw and talk about it 20 years later, but people will remember great advertising experiences in video and they'll talk about them. And that's really what we want to drive. Is let's, let's, sometimes we should get away from the, the distraction of all the tech and coming from a tech officer and focus back on what is it we're trying to do, telling the story, um, reaching people with creativity. I felt uh, that the, the creative part of advertising was being underrepresented when it came to the IB and the, the, the video board. Um, there has been a, a lot of focus on many of the other aspects of media, of targeting, of privacy, of fraud, of all these different areas. But there was not, a, a, I didn't hear a voice representing creativity. Uh, how do we tell stories? How do we move content efficiently? How do we create a, a automated, efficient supply chain for actually delivering the message when a media opportunity is presented. Uh, so uh, by joining the IB video board, we felt we could bring that voice to the table and try to round out the, the whole, whole discussion on video advertising.